Right, first of all, honest opinion. Does my head look bald in this? Hey up, Stephen Carroll here, the Northern Barrel. So, as promised, here she is my lovely wife, Caroline. Alright. Yeah, <laughs> we've been together for a long time now, haven't we? Yeah, and we love doing all the lovely stuff, don't we, that a husband and a wife love doing? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, we met when we was on holiday. Yeah, I was on holiday with lads. She were on holiday with lasses. And we met. And then we just instantly fell in love. Yeah. Started, you know, exchanging pizza slices. Doing this, that and the other. And then when we had to go home, I was gutted. But then it turns out she lived in Rotherham. And that's like right next to Sheffield, isn't it? Yeah, we went out for a couple of years, didn't we? For about three years. Well, you got down on one knee and said that, will you do me the honour of signing this form so I can send off for a provisional driver's licence? It were a nightmare. I had to get down on one knee in the end. February 29th, 2004, I asked you to marry me. And then you've passed out in shock because you didn't see it coming. Yeah, well, I couldn't afford an engagement ring. She got me by bloody surprise. Yeah, she was all, yeah, when we got married and all on um, Valentine's, not Valentine's, it was somewhere around there, 2005, she was pregnant with our lad, Carol. I was pregnant with our little boy, Carol. Not so little now, is he? Yeah. Apparently, you know, I made a bollocks up on birth certificate and accidentally put his surname where his first name should be. And then, instead of rubbing that out, I just wrote his surname as Carol. Yeah, never corrected that balls up. Yeah, I love you. Come here. Mm, I love you too. Uh, you two are disgusting! Now, Schmoopy, that's because me and your dad are married. When you're grown up, you'll understand. Do you want a Kit Kat? No, I don't want a Kit Kat! Ugh! I'm going out, God, with my friends. Aye, that's my family. I love them all. Even my dad when he's a bit of a knobhead at times and my brother who I rarely see because he lives in Falaraki and works as an holiday rep. And his mum's Greek. Yeah, my dad avoids her like the plague. Yeah, I always remember the family. It's very important. And you should always think of them as much as before you think of your sin. Just cherish the time you have with your family, why don't you? That's what I do. Even my mum, when she's a bit of a cow as well. Yeah. We all say stuff we don't mean. But at the end of the day, we all love our families. <laughs> Alright then, ta -ra. Hey! I made it into video! Ha! Aha, me too! Oh, I forgot you're on holiday for a week. How's your mum been? She's been a nightmare. Ah, well, mum's been a nightmare, so I thought best time to do it.
Just let me stay. 